So in this episode of the DIY Van Build, we're taking 400 watts of rigid solar panels, mounting them to the top of that Sprinter van without using a roof rack, nor putting a single screw hole through the roof of that van. Something you've never seen before, guaranteed, because it's 100% my idea. But let's start from the beginning. Telling where it goes. Okay, so we just had a major catastrophe and it's Operation GoPro right now. So I need to get a mic hooked up to you. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I. And there we go, we're finally in business. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high. I'm off in another place all of a sudden because of all this freaking chaos. <laughs> it's all good. We're like three hours behind now. I got you hooked up to the GoPro. I got a mic on. And at least I don't have to sync the audio. I guess that's one positive. And we'll see what the video looks like when I put a video together. If I... Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. And welcome back to the DIY van build. So we're starting this all over again. I've built this, torn it all back down again, just so we could restart right from the beginning. What we want to talk about today is our solar system that we're putting onto our 4x4 van. So the one big thing I did not want was a big roof rack on top. Those things are heavy, especially when you're 9, 10 feet in the air. So this is what we've come up with. First thing I chose was the solar panels, of course. So I went with four 100 watt solar panels. So these are HQST. These come with two 100 watt panels per box. As you see, there's only one strip of tape down each side, and that's exactly how they came, sitting like that inside the box. So it's a little disappointing to see that. They do have foam in between them. But that's what we're looking at right there. Now to mount these solar panels to the roof, we bought three of these kits in which you get four corners and two side pieces per kit. Now we're only gonna use four of the corners, but we're gonna use all six of the side pieces to mount to the roof. For the bolt holes, that's how we're gonna screw them into the side of the panels, and the bottoms are completely hollow in which I can customize the one end just to fit up and over top of the humps that are on top of that roof so we can glue everything down and again, stick with the trend of no holes in the roof for our solar panels. The real fun part is getting these panels on top of the roof. Whoa. Without killing yourself or breaking the vent. Panel number one. Panel number two. Panel number three. Well, we definitely used up the roof space, didn't we? And here we go. So, I'm gonna take a corner piece, put it on this corner, then I'm gonna take a corner piece and put it on our far corner. And I'll bring you over here in a second, don't worry. And then, I'm gonna take these ones that we bought, the straight ones, and we're gonna mount those on each edge like this. So at each panel, we'll get a bolt from each side. And then be fixed into place. Let me show you what I'm doing. Whoa, I almost fell again. We dropped the camera, and I swear on this ladder, it's a matter of time before we drop me. But we're gonna do what we gotta do, peeps. It's solar time. We got the corner piece on there, and these straight ones are gonna go like that. So now that I got them in place, I gotta do the same to the other side, and then I'll cut back in and show you what I'm gonna do to cut these out. Sound like plan? Perfect. 
Now, I'm gonna start marking it as to where we need to cut it. So I'm gonna start with one at a time. I'm gonna mark where that is on both sides. And then I'm gonna do that on this side. Then we'll pull the one off and go to the garage. So now that we got it marked on both sides, I'm gonna simply take my Dremel and this cutting bit, which is gonna be hard for you guys to see. So first thing I'm gonna do is suit up. Safety seconds, we always say, and start cutting away. And once we've got all our cuts nice and close, we'll just take our knife and just kind of trim it out to make sure it sits perfectly flat on the roof of this vent. See? And now we have the first one down and all trimmed. It's nice, eh? The solar panel's in nice and tight in the corners. Now we're gonna go over that side and make sure that one fits. All right. That cut, that cutting went, oh, look at that. That went way faster. Yes. And we have like a perfect fit. Went way smoother than the first one. I guess just like everything, right? First time you do it always takes longer. But we nailed it on this one, peeps. Seen them by myself, I can't watch the other side. I'm gonna go over to that side now and do this one on that side. And then we'll come back over here. And we'll just keep bouncing around. go now we got these all sitting nice and pretty we got Curtis in the house and uh, he's gonna help us just lift these up and put them back in place so what we're gonna do we're gonna use painters tape to mark the location of each bracket on that roof then we're gonna sand the roof and the base of the bracket then we're gonna prime the roof and the base of the bracket. We'll add our urethane to just the bracket itself, and then we stick it down to the top of the roof. Now, we just repeat all those steps 12 more times till we get to the front of the van. Story of my life moving this stupid thing. Okay, I'm ready. Pass me the stuff. Thanks. So now that all these are glued down, You'll see, they are solid, look at that. If I can hold you straight somehow, when I pull on those, they actually lift the roof of the van up before they even think about going anywhere. They are solid, which is good, because that means we know our panels are gonna stay on top of the roof, and there's absolutely zero chance of them leaking. But for aesthetic reasons, as you see, you can notice the black and that urethane that we use to glue these down is also black. And it just doesn't look as good as it should. So I'm actually gonna use our lapping compound around this edge, just to make sure no moisture does get underneath there. Not that it matters, because there's no holes, it's all painted. But extra precaution, as well as for aesthetics, it's just gonna cover all that black stuff up that we already discussed. So before I put this on, I'm actually gonna put this last solar panel in. And now we proceed. I swear, I feel like I'm gonna die at any moment here. Now what happens first, do I fall? Or does the solar panel chop my head off? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna do that times 10. And now that that's all complete, I'm gonna tape it off just to try and keep some of the dirt off of that compound. I'm gonna take our drill bit. I'm gonna pre-drill into the side of these through the panel on both corners. Just like that. 
Then I'm gonna take our drill. We have our screw, our lock washer, and a little bit of Loctite. And now, just gonna screw it in. I'll move you again. And just like that, we got screws in the side of our solar panels. And now, they won't lift up. So I'm gonna do the rest, the rest of the way down the whole panels, and I'll show you when we're complete. Looks pretty slick, right? I think so. We have zero chance of leak. We have 400 watts of solar as promised at the beginning. And we're done, my friends. We get to move on to the next video, which is putting the wiring in. So I was gonna do it on this video, but as you'll see here from the front of the van, we put this junction box on for the wires and it's only got room for two ports. Now, I was short-sighted in the planning of this and uh, I'm gonna need more room. So that means I gotta pull all this stuff back off, rewind the wires, and that means we're gonna have to move it to another video because we've had enough issues on this video, I just need to move forward. So if you wanna see more of this on how that's done, you're gonna have to tune in back next. You're gonna have to tune back in next week, and uh, we can go from there. So if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing so. I don't know. If you have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you as always. And of course, we we will see you next Sunday. Perfect.